And uh, I, today, people, we are reading a awesome mm, story by Silent Scott. It's called Depression. Oh, it's, what's depression? I'm sorry. Depression! Ah, wait, fuck, there's no definition. Wait. Feeling of dis. Wait, what? So, dead, dead on the inside. Okay, what? We're on the. We're gonna start off with the first. Page called the loneliness. Hmm. So let's start. Scott was in his room in the mansion, just thinking how he lived this far. Everyone in the mansion accepted him. I would criticism you on that, but I I don't know. I'll save it for later. Even Slenderman asked if they wanted to hang out, but he said no, and walked to his room with the reason. He stays in his room is because he didn't feel like anything. After his mother died by his father, he only thought that a life hates him. Edgy. <laughs> okay. He gets knocked at the front of the door from his friends, Ben, Jeff, and Eilish Jack. And asked if he was doing okay, but Scott only replied with a "Yeah, I'm fine." Oh, why does everyone say "I'm fine"? Just tell them your goddamn feelings. One day, a knock at the bedroom door, so he got up to see who it was. But when he answered, his heartbeat rises in speed and blushes. Ah, uh, uh, okay, fuck. Nina was Scott. Wait, it was Nina. I'm going to put, it was Nina. Nina was Scott's crush for a long time. Nina says, Hey, Scott, how are you doing? Sk Nina said, Scott. Scott replies, I'm good. Uh, I'm good. Scott said, blushing under his mask. That's good. Um, Maybe you want to hang out? Nina asked. Sure, Scott said. And they both walked out the mansion and walked into the woods. Scott felt like this was the right time to tell Nina his feels. <laughs> his feel, his feelings, but, you know. <laughs> well, well, whatever. Um, where was I? Oh, uh, his feels. Um, Nina? Scott said, yeah. Nina said, will you go with me? Scott asked Scott. Dot, dot, dot. I, I can't. Nina said, why? Scott said. I'm dating EJ, said Nina. Done with chapter one. So, 11 out of 10 people! <clears throat> okay, um, I just want to make this kind of clear. This is creepy pastas we're talking about. Psychopath killers. <laughs> Let's go to psychopath traits. Psychopaths don't have time for for love. They they honestly don't. But you know, I actually I actually I'm okay with this. But I'm just pointing this out. Don't get butt hurt, please. So, ah, oh, frick. Compassion for others. No compassion for others. Yes. No empathy for others. No feeling of guilt or any of that. Yeah, that's. All of that means kind of in love, Calgary, and how everyone accepts you in the mansion. You're gonna have some haters, bro. You're probably gonna have like, I don't think anyone would care about your life because there's gonna be, you don't know how many C OCs are probably in that mansion, like 12,000 in one motherfucking mansion. I kind of pointed that out, so I'm trying to put my OCs not in the fucking creepypasta mansions. Um, and this is really, what's the word? Hmm, what's the word for 
What's the word for? Oh shit! I forgot word for edgy. So edgy is well, you know, over the fucking top. <coughs> I'm sorry. What did I say? Now that's what I call edgy. But you know, I'm okay with that because creamy pastas are edgy. But I'm like, mm, are you really that depressed over the past? But you know, it's okay. It's it's okay. It's fine. So yeah, this story is actually pretty good because I don't know. I just like seeing these. I'm s I I don't know why. Even though I might seem like I hate them, no, I'm I'm being completely serious. I actually like these stories. So. Yeah, good work on your story. I actually really like it. So, yeah, get you better update, motherfucker. Anyways, that's the upload for now. I might do the, the next three, next two chapters. Uh, yeah, I'm